Next, we introduce the concept marginal utility. We have a consumer with given preferences that are represented by a utility function over two goods. The marginal utility of good one, denoted by MU1, is defined as follows. MU1 is equal to the partial derivative of U with respect to X1. The marginal utility of good 2, MU2, is defined as the partial derivative of U with respect to X2. Marginal utilities will themselves depend on which bundle we consider, and they will be functions of X1 and X2. Keep in mind that utility functions are assumed to be ordinal, and that a particular utility value has no interpretation. This means that changes in utility levels will have no interpretation either, making marginal utility values uninterpretable as well. Knowing the marginal utilities for a consumer at the given consumption bundle will really tell you nothing. As we will see soon, the ratio of these two marginal utilities will have a measurable interpretation. If the utility function is smooth, then we can approximate partial derivative as ratios of small changes. MU1 is approximately equal to the change in utility divided by the change in X1, keeping X2 fixed, as long as the change in X1 is small. Multiplying both sides by delta X1, we have delta U is approximately equal to MU1 times delta X1. For delta x1 equal to 1, we see that mu1 is approximately equal to the increase in utility when we consume one more unit of good 1 with no changes in x2. This is a useful way of visualizing marginal utilities. The same is true for mu2. If we increase consumption of good 2 by one unit keeping consumption of good 1 fixed, then utility will increase by approximately mu2. Here is a super important result in microeconomics. Starting from well-behaved preferences, we have defined MRS as the slope of an indifference curve dx2 dx1, assuming that the indifference curve is smooth, allowing us to find a derivative. We also know that preferences can, in most cases, be represented by a utility function. If the partial derivatives of this utility function exist, then MRS will always be equal to minus mu1 divided by mu2. Here is a graph. I have my indifference curve. I have a bundle on the indifference curve. Here is the tangent to the indifference curve. The slope of this tangent is the derivative of the indifference curve at x1, x2, which we have defined as MRS. The absolute value of MRS is equal to this ratio of marginal utilities. Remember that preferences can be represented by many different utility functions. If you select a different utility function to represent our preferences, your marginal utilities will be different. However, the ratio of these marginal utilities will be the same. Here is an example demonstrating the equality of MRS and minus the ratio of marginal utilities. We start with the simple Cobb-Douglas utility function u equal to 4x1, x2. We select an arbitrary bundle, x1 equal to 2, and x2 is equal to 4. This bundle has a utility of 32. To find MRS, we need to find an explicit relationship explaining x2 as a function of x1. Starting from the equation of the indifference curve, 4x1, x2 equal to 32, we divide both sides by 4x1, giving us the equation for the indifference curve, x2 is equal to 8 divided by x1. We take the derivative, mrs is equal to minus 8 divided by x1 squared. When x1 is equal to 2, mrs is equal to minus 8 divided by 4, which is minus 2. mu1 is defined as the partial derivative of u with respect to x1, so this is equal to 4x2. x2 is equal to 4, so mu1 is 16. Keep in mind that 16 on its own mean nothing to us. mu2 is the partial derivative of u with respect to x2, which comes out to be 4x1, which is 8 when x1 is equal to 2. The ratio of the marginal utilities is 16 divided by 8, and minus this ratio is equal to minus 2, precisely the value that we found for MRS. 
So even though the value of MU116 has no interpretation, the fact that it is twice as big as MU2 does mean something. At the bundle 2,4, the consumer values good 1 twice as much as good 2 at the margin. Therefore, she is willing to trade 2 units of good 2 for 1 unit of good 1, which is why the absolute value of MRS is 2.